Hey YouTube, this is Landon with Order of the Traveling Hats, and today I plan on doing a little bit of work on the GMRS radio that we installed previously. I have not had an opportunity to do the SWR measurement, the standing wave ratio measurement. For those of you that may not know what SWR means, I kind of have had to read about this. Uh, GMRS antennas and radios and radio sets in general are not just completely plug and play. I wish they were, it'd make things a lot easier, but you really need to adjust the length of your antenna and wire system to accommodate the uh, expected impedance of the radio uh, as it transmits. I think I'm saying that right. Um, to the impedance of the antenna system. Otherwise, you'll get a reflected wave in the system, which basically ends up reflecting the energy that you're trying to transmit out back into the antenna and up into the radio. And over time, that can damage it, burn out the radio, etc. So they make a meter called an SWR meter, which I have, I'm going to show you in a minute. And that goes into the antenna circuit. Basically, it ties in line with the antenna wire. And uh, you key the radio up and see what your SWR is, and then we're gonna have to adjust the length of the antenna um, by cutting it a little bit. So that's kinda, kinda weird, but that's what we're gonna do. So for those of you that may have seen uh, fire sticks on CB antennas where you can just adjust a set screw, I don't know of an antenna for GMRS that's like that. So we actually have to do this a little bit differently. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my SWR meter out and kind of show you that. Um, and then we'll get started kind of hooking it into the radio and show you how that works and go from there. All right guys, this is a very old SWR meter that I've had forever. It works for both CB and ham, so it should be fine for our purposes for GMRS. For those of you, just to uh, show you my age, this one came from Radio Shack. I don't know that there's a Radio Shack left on the planet today, but that's where this SWR meter came from. It's actually branded as a Radio Shack meter. I'm going to open it up now and uh, kind of show you. It's a box. Um, pretty lightweight, as you'd expect, but not much in it. There's one circuit board in there with a couple of circuits on it, really. These are pretty simple when you look at a wiring diagram, but it has an SWR gauge and... Uh, a switch for SWR or calibration, we're going to use SWR instead of field strength. And then on the back, there's just an antenna side and a transmitter side. So all we got to do is take this short little cable here and tie it into the back of the radio, tie that into the transmit side over here like this, and then the antenna lead will screw into this, and then we can key up the radio and see where we are. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of get that set up and then I'll show you how that looks. All right, guys, so this looks pretty ugly um, just because I've literally got this SWR meter kind of hanging down. What we're going to do is just turn the Jeep onto accessory power so I can power up the radio. So that's pretty easy. Here we go. And we're going to power up the radio on the old uh, Vo switch. Radio is powered on. And this is our SWR meter here. Oop. And uh, all we gotta do is key the mic. Oh, and it goes way the hell over there. Yeah, that goes all the way over. Um, that is on SWR. So that's actually really, really dangerous. That means we're reflecting almost all the energy back into the uh, radio and none of it is going out because uh, the uh, ratio is basically infinite. It needs to be over here somewhere, kind of less than 1.5. Ideally, we'd like to have it down around 1, 1 1.2. But as you can see, when I key the mic, boop, it goes all the way and pegs it. So we got to work on this antenna a little bit. So there's two little Allen set screws here that we're just going to loosen um, and get them loosened up so that we can get this antenna out. And then we got to trim the antenna, actually, to uh, get the SWR down. It really apparently doesn't take much. I've never actually had to do this. So we're going to start really small and see what we get and go slow because I don't want to mess the antenna up. So we're going to just set our Allen here on the fender. 
this just kind of comes out like so. It just kind of sits down in there and you tighten the Allens up and then it comes out. So antenna's out. Let me show you these Allens real quick so you can see those. So you got one Allen, kind of I'm gonna use this to point. One Allen right here and then you got another one over here. You just loosen them up and this comes out. So pretty easy. So now we're gonna go over here to the vise and we're gonna set this up. So we're gonna set this up in the vise, just like so. I'm just gonna clamp it in the vise so it's clamped so you can kind of see that now. And then we're gonna cut about, I'm gonna cut about a centimeter off to start with with a pair of bolt cutters. I've got some little small bolt cutters. I think these are, this is stainless steel so I think it's pretty hard to cut. So we're going to try it with these little ones that I got, and if they don't work, we're going to get the big ones. Those are purple. So had some. Here they are. These little guys right here, we're going to try it, because these are a little more precise. So I'm just going to load up like that, and then I'm going to... There it goes. So now we got to just test this again and kind of see where it went. So. Um, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I think I've got this thing tuned. It took a couple tries. I didn't feel like showing every try to you on camera. Um, but we're going to key the mic up just for a second so I can kind of show you what the needle does. This didn't take long at all. Um, I ended up cutting off quite a bit because we were pegged out. So probably cut off uh, a little over an inch and a half, maybe, maybe two inches tops and it seems to have worked. So I'm gonna show you right now what we got. So if we look at that meter, try and get it, well, maybe. Huh. And we're gonna key the mic. And notice that the needle stays at one. We let the mic go. Needle stays at one. So I think I nailed it pretty much. I got it right at one. It's not moving at all. So it seems to have worked. So I think our antenna's tuned. So guys, I think I made a mistake. I was using my SWR meter. The needle pegged all the way over to the infinite side of the scale and then dropped to one all of a sudden when I keyed the mic up. I had the radio set to the full 50 watts of broadcast power. If I had a really high SWR, that means I was reflecting a significant portion of that energy back into the meter. And I was just kind of worried that maybe I had damaged my meter and couldn't trust it anymore. So I had to fix that by buying a new meter, which kind of sucked. Didn't want to have to buy one, but I got a really nice one. So I'm going to show you that now. Um, this is the meter. It's much smaller. It's got a digital display and it gives you a whole bunch of other information to include your broadcast power, your percentage efficiency on your transmit and the frequency you're transmitting at. I bought it off Amazon. It's $57. I'll post a link in the description below for you. Really easy to set up. Same procedure. You just basically take the patch cable into the transmit side and then the antenna side you screw your antenna cable into and then all you got to do is key the mic up so to prevent damage we're going to go to a low frequency on the gmrs radio right now down to like channel two or three these are restricted to five watts so the radio is only going to let me transmit at five watts of power that amount of power even if the swr is high and i need to adjust it some more should be just fine uh, for the meter. Uh, it shouldn't hurt the meter at all. So we're going to try that now. I'm going to turn the camera around on the meter and uh, just kind of show you guys that so you can see what the SWR is when I key the mic. So we're at one. So that's pretty awesome. So now I'm going to go up to one of the higher frequencies up to about 16 or so where I can broadcast on high power. And we're going to key the mic up again and that is an SWR of 1.24, which is still really good. Anything less than 1.5 should be considered excellent, and 1 is perfect. So 1.24 is pretty good. Uh, you can see above that that it's broadcasting at about 40 watts of power, not the full 50 for some reason. I'm not really sure why that is. It may have something to do with my antenna setup. Uh, 
but I'm still pretty happy overall with the setup and it seems to be working pretty well. And I guess my meter was not fried after all. So uh, that is good news. I'm gonna close the video out now and we're gonna just take this SWR meter out and we're gonna plug the antenna back in and the radio should be good to go to use. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys out there that maybe are new to GMRS or new to radios in general and maybe have never used an SWR meter or had to tune the antenna. I think I said earlier in the video on the old CB antennas with the fire sticks, it was a little set screw in the end of them that you could just adjust. It was really easy to do. These antennas are a little bit different. I'm also going to post a link in the description for you guys that if you cut your antenna too short and go too far, you can buy new antenna masks. They aren't very expensive. They're, you know, 10 or $20, depending on which one you get. And that is all you really need to know about setting up a GMRS radio and tuning the uh, SWR. So I'm going to close the video out. I'm Landon. Uh, this is Order the Traveling Hats. I hope if you like this, you'll like and subscribe to the video and the channel. It helps us out a lot. And I hope to see you out there.